All right, so I'm with uh, Coach Camp, or so a weekly spot, uh, DePaul Spartan uh, offensive coordinator, and you know this guy, he's the hardest worker in uh, in New Jersey. I'm going to say, and from the first family, and we want to introduce him to our to our audience. You're going to be with us every every week, uh, talking about the upcoming week. And this week uh, is week one. It's an important week because we have Pope John. They're always a physical matchup. Uh, we don't know too much about them as such this uh, thus far this year. But what's the plan going into the game without the delving into too much of your game plan? Yeah, obviously, it's always. Kind Kind of the same thing on offense. We want to be efficient, you know, not turn the ball over, uh, no penalties, you know, we don't want to hurt ourselves, put ourselves behind the chains, you know, so from that standpoint, it's always the same, you know. Um, obviously, we're a team that likes to throw the ball, so uh, we're looking for, you know, easy completions early on in the game, get our quarterback into a groove. You know, and then kind of go from there. It's kind now, of the, the, same. the first, uh, if you want to take your schedule into like uh, bite sized pieces, we can easily consume. Yep. Um, the first three weeks you have Pope John, then you have who after that? Seton Hall. Seton Hall, yep. and then you have uh, St. Joe's. St. Joe's. Saint Joe's. Yep. Now, um, you know, look, that's a little bit of a hard schedule. Yeah, Every great. game in the Big North yep. when you play is a hard schedule. Yep. Uh, but with that in mind and with that coming down in game three with St. Joe's, how important is it to get off to a fast start uh, instead I, of a slow I, start? I think it's huge. You know, uh, you know, obviously, you know, try to break this season up into into different uh, groups, but you, we're going to take it one at a time. You know, we got a great opponent this week. This has been a rivalry for 60, almost 70 years. These two teams have been going at it. You know, so it's going to be a hard-fought game on Saturday, and they're a really good football team. You know, they're very good up front, uh, very big on the offensive line, very athletic on the defensive line. You know, so we, we really got to try to win the line of scrimmage, you know, on Saturday. Um, but we're really just trying to take it one day at a time even one hour at a time, you know, out here in practice, you know. Tell uh, the people out there, um, you know, the polls rank very high, but yep. a lot of times, you know, those rankings are out, and you can be a paper tiger, or you can live up to them, right? <laughs> exactly. And exactly. it's going to be one or the other. Right. And, um, you know, speaking of that, um, last year, a really strong part of the team was the offensive line. Yep. Now you have kind of an inexperienced offensive Absolutely. line. How are they gelling, and does this offensive line have uh, the wherewithal? You see things in them when you look in their eyes yeah. that tell you they're going to be successful at Absolutely. this level? Absolutely. Tell us about that. We've got some, some really tough kids. Like you said, they're very inexperienced. We, we lost four starters, um, but we return a great player at left tackle, Blair Mastemi, and C.J. Hansen's a tremendous football player. He didn't quite crack the lineup uh, as a starter last year, but he played in just about every game. So I kind of look at him as a returning starter as well. Um, the other guys are, are inexperienced, but they're really tough kids, and they practice very hard. They play very hard, you know. And we've been tough on that unit. You know, we're really demanding of them um, because I think that's got to be the, the heart and soul of your team. You know, last year, that's where we made our bones was, was on the offensive line. And we expect to do the same thing this year. Now, everybody wants to know, of course, and it's probably um, not even a bad thing to bring it up now because you're going to hear about it all season long, is your two, uh, the two kids on the team who, you know, one's going to Penn State, right, take yes. on Roberson. Yep. The other one is going to Ohio State. Yep. Uh, that's Rocket Hickman. Yep. Uh, and, you know, it's different, right, when you're a coach. Sometimes you have, you know, 57 individual players. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes you have a couple stars, but the word on the street and, and me from watching these kids from the time they're young and freshmen to this point is they're not like that. These kids yeah. are team players. Oh, let, let the world know what yeah. these two guys are like because they have their own perceptions. I mean, they're, you know, they're two of the greatest kids you'll ever meet in your life. I mean, talk about team first. You know, they don't do anything without putting the team first. You know? um, and when your best players have that mindset, it trickles down to the younger guys. You know, so, you know, they're a huge part of the success we've had here as a program. You know, when, when your best players are your most coachable players, you know, like I said, that trickles down and that really creates a culture throughout your entire program. So I, I couldn't be more proud of those two guys. You know, they have every reason to, you know, put themselves first and, and worry put about it. Put it on cruise control, right? right? Yeah. How many you know, times you see it? Right, exactly. And they're guys that, that got all their offers, you know, young as sophomores. Um, and they never allowed it to go to their head, you know. So uh, they continue to, you know, practice hard every day and, and remain coachable, always learning, you know, and that's really helped us create the culture that we have. And also that they serve as great leaders. So, um, again, I'm with uh, Coach Camp, and week one is coming up against Pope John. It's on Saturday at Pope John. Uh, so everybody get out and get up there. It's going to be a great clash of the Titans early in the season, and uh, we'll talk to you after the game, right? You got it. All right, thanks, Coach. All right. Okay, I'm at DePaul Catholic High School. I'm with uh, Rocket, Ronnie Hickman. Uh, how you doing today? I'm good, Coach. How are you? Awesome. Oh, I'm doing great. It's good to see you. Uh, you guys, week one's coming up. We have Pope yes, John. Sir. We're going to go up there on Saturday. Um, first of all, how you feel? You're, are you healthy? How's everything uh, yes, working? Yes, I'm healthy. You know, the team's healthy. You know, we're really excited to get after it. 
Excellent. And um, so now, um, listen. One thing that people want to know is about your offensive line. This year you have a very relatively new offensive line. Um, give us your thoughts on how they're progressing. Uh, are they up to the challenges and the rigors of the Big North? Uh, yes, I think they are. You know, we have some, some great coaches, you know, great coaching staff who's uh, willing to do whatever it takes to prepare our guys, you know, for Friday Night Lights. So I think the O-line is really good. You know, we did lose a few seniors that were on that line, but I think our coaches are doing a uh, tremendous job on preparing those guys to be ready for the game. Excellent. And um, so, listen, everybody knows um, you're committed to go to Ohio State, uh, the Ohio State. Uh, we're all really excited for you. We're all big fans. But one thing that we all kind of wonder, though, right, that guys that don't know you and they're looking from the outside in, is how somebody kind of handles that, right? Because this year you're going into it, you know, your future, you know, that's one thing. But, but you got to keep your mind focused on the task at hand, right? Yes. So how hard is that to do? Uh, I mean, I, I guess it's hard, but, you know, um, I was raised right by my parents. You know, they always keep my head straight. So it's kind of natural for me to just, you know, focus on what's going on right now, which is my team, which is my main goal right now. So I'm just really focused on that. Excellent. So congratulations on that. Thank we're going to be watching you all season long. Um, and we're definitely going to be watching you, your season because I think it's going to be a special season for you guys. Uh, and uh, obviously the goal is to win a championship. But what would it mean – to be part of a team that is owners of five of the last six state championships. You haven't won that fifth one yet. You've only won four out of five. Yes. But I mean, you, that's in your, is that I mean, in your sights or what? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely in my sights. I, th I think it's definitely in the team sights as well. You know, it, it'd be amazing. You know, it'd be the first time it's been done. So it, it'd be pretty huge for us to do something like that, yes. Excellent, okay, so we're gonna be watching on Saturday. Good yes, luck sir. during the game and we'll talk to you after the game, right? Thank you. All right, thanks. What's up? What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Ain't nothing. <laughs> week one, Pope John. Wow. Anything? Week one, Pope John. We're going to take care of business for 48 minutes. Uh, we're going to fly around. We're going to be relentless. Uh, we're going to put a lot of pressure at the quarterback. We're just going to play Spartan football. And, you know, we're going to play Spartan football, and we're just going to get busy. That's it. We're coming out to be 1-0, and that's the goal week after week. Knock, whoever lines up, knock them down and move on to the next one. That's it. You know, we got a great defensive scheme. You know, a new team coordinator comes White in. Uh, some great, great stuff. Uh, very organized and detailed and everything. Doing a great job preparing the kids, and we all got a job to do, like the kids got a job to do, and we're just gonna take care of business, man. That's really it.